What's the difference between INFP and INFJ? Both are introverted, creative, idealistic, and empathetic. The INFP and INFJ personality types have so much in common to the point that one can relate to the other. So if they are this similar, then why are they two separate types? Obviously, it is because of their characteristics that makes them distinct from one another. Hello, and welcome back to Inspiration Calling. Today, we will help you clear your confusion between INFPs and INFJs. Watch until the end to learn more about them. But before we even get there, help us grow our community by subscribing to our channel. This is a safe space to learn more about you, your personality, and anything involving psychology. Please don't forget to click the notification bell too so we can notify you whenever we upload new content. If you're done with that, let's get straight into the video. Before we go to the main differences of both MBTI personality types, let us first take a look at their dominant functions. In this context, they have NI versus FI functions. This means that although both are known to be idealistic and compassionate, the difference lies in which functions they are led by. For INFPs, it is the introverted feeling or FI, while for the INFJ, it is the introverted intuition or NI. This has a lot to do with how they function. For INFPs, their dominant functions make them have such intense care for people without feeling the need to understand all the abstract concepts of people and their personalities. They also have a strong sense of what they believe in and the principles they live by in life. Their decisions are guided by these values and they are very clear in expressing not to disrespect it. As for INFJs, they have a desire to understand abstract things like meanings, understand concepts and form patterns. Their care and desire to help people comes from this deep understanding of their pain and interest in other people. With their dominant function, they are also able to draw out insights about people's thoughts, feelings, and pain. When it comes to values, INFJs can be a little too helpful to the point that they neglect this part of their identity. It may be because of their desire to help others and adjust to their circumstances that they do not have a clear view of their principles and values. Now that we have a background of them, let's go to the differences in personality. One, analytical versus artistic. Introverted intuition, a perceiving function, dominates how INFJs interpret the world. They are open and exploratory in nature, which are perceiving functions. A judging function, which is all about drawing judgments and carrying out plans, is the opposite of a perceiving function. INFJs are thought of as having a judging personality, yet they actually have a perceiving function that they use to lead. Being introverted, this perceptive ability is largely concealed from others. Their second function, extroverted feeling, is an openly exhibited judgment function. In contrast, there are INFPs, introverted feeling, a judgment function is used as their starting point. Their second function, extroverted intuition, is an outwardly manifested perceiving function. This is why INFJs are more known to have a structured, rigid, and analytical way of viewing things while INFPs are seen to be more artistic and spontaneous. However, it is interesting how both of the personalities see themselves inwardly as the opposite. An INFJ thinks that they are more artistic while an INFP feels like they are more analytical. Two, other people's feelings versus their own. One of the defining traits of INFJs also lies in their extroverted feeling function. This allows them to have a special skill in connecting and deciphering other people's moods and emotions, hence making their empathy level so high. This makes them good therapists, social workers, and counselors. However, an INFJ will prioritize other people's feelings first over their own. As a result, they have a much harder time understanding their own. Since they are also very empathetic, they are prone to absorbing the feelings of others, which they can mistake as their own. When we look at INFPs, you will see that they are the opposite of INFJs. They are more connected with their own feelings and have even mastered it. This allows them to really tap into their emotions 
which makes them great artists, writers, and creative people. Although both of them have empathy, the difference is seen on how they let this factor affect their actions. INFPs have no trouble imagining what other people go through, which is why they can easily show concern to those who are in pain or dealing with heavy emotions. On the other hand, INFJs understand the emotions of other people as if it's their own, which makes them connect to them easily, but can also lead them to people pleasing. If you are confused with whether you are an INFP or INFJ, just think about how you feel about things. If you think you do not have to go along with what other people say, then you are an INFP. If you feel like the emotions of other people are your responsibility, then you must be an INFJ. Three, seeking insight versus exploring the human condition. INFJs that are analytical have a strong desire to learn. Psychology, personal development, spirituality, current events, and fictional stories that highlight human nature are frequently their favorite subjects to read and write about. INFJs are most likely the philosophers Schopenhauer and Nietzsche. This is consistent with the INFJ's propensity to observe, identify patterns, and draw conclusions. INFJs frequently act as soothsayers or social analyzers. They make sense of what they observe and call for change, whether it comes to morals or society. The challenges, pleasures, and emotions that lie underlying the human experience are more of an interest to INFPs. It is believed that the authors Virginia Woolf and Albert Camus were INFPs. 4. Outer Control versus Inner Control If you have an INFP friend or you know someone with this personality type, you might have noticed how flexible and good at adjusting they are. It even seems like deadlines, schedules, and plans are the last things they worry about. You may even see them as someone who just goes with the flow. However, when you look inside, you can see that they are actually more rigid and structured. This is opposite to INFJs. Even when people see them or think of them as organized and structured individuals, they may not be totally like this inside. Yes, they are very orderly and also appear on time while following the plan created. However, they still feel like they are not that put together on the inside. This can be due to their introverted intuition as a perceiving function. They have a more perceiver-like internal landscape. INFJs are really more open, flexible, and exploratory internally. Five, values about other people. One of the most obvious differences between an INFP and an INFJ is how they interact with other people. For an INFP, although they respect and care for the people around them, they are also aware of what they like and what they don't like. Oftentimes, they are very firm with this too and won't let anyone cross their boundaries, no matter how close they are with each other. When it comes to reaching a decision, they have more ideas that cater to their own preferences without neglecting the needs of people they care about and create a win-win situation. They are also more individualistic, which means that they value thinking for themselves more. However, this does not mean they no longer like other people because they have a soft side too, which is specially reserved for their family, loved ones, and important people. On the flip side, INFJs really have a reputation for pleasing people. They are more aware and careful with the desires and boundaries of other people than their own. They value social harmony so much that they would rather let people decide first before they say anything. The solutions they create also have a lot to do with taking care of the greater whole too. Although this is a good trait of a moderator, it can also be harmful since you're not able to develop or protect your own preferences. Six, conflicts. Though diplomatic and eager to win over others, INFJs and INFPs have rather different goals in mind. INFJs can change their social personas easily thanks to their extroverted emotion, FE function. They are able to explain their difficulties to everyone, even complete strangers if they so choose. INFJs desire to assist those in their immediate vicinity without leaving anyone behind. So when there's a conflict between two parties, INFJs will not pick a side, but will rather help both understand and process what they are going through. Conversely, INFPs are more picky about who they invite into their world. Only those who are most close to them, including their friends and family, 
are privy to their private sentiments and thoughts. They desire to devote their time, effort, and resources to causes that share their beliefs or to the individuals they care about. When faced with conflicts, they also do the same. They will let their principles and values guide them to wherever they will side. That's it for today's video. You can leave any of your questions, suggestions, or reactions in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get notified whenever a new video is up. Until next time, thank you for watching.